All right, welcome to today's training. I'm super excited to share with you that we have been working very hard to create from the ground of an AI tool that can be useful for Etsy sellers who struggle with creating creative design prompts to use on their Etsy products utilizing AI tools. And so I'm happy to share with you that we have created and launched in the membership our new useful tool to create amazing ai prompts and you can find that tool here where it says prompt ai so this is our creative prompt ai tool this is where you are able to generate creative ai prompts and turn those detailed descriptive prompts into amazing designs and i want to share with you exactly how to use that here and so when you come to this area here you want to select image to text and you have two different versions or two different ways to describe the image here you can upload a design from your computer or simply utilize one of the fastest and easiest ways that we implemented so the other option here is that you can find a top selling design and actually copy and paste that image here and the tool will describe the design so that you can have a creative prompt you can use on your software tools so what we first want to do is head over to Etsy and find a top selling design. And I found one here that's really good to create and design. And if you were to try and create a prompt yourself, it might be very tough to create a prompt that will actually give you a similar design or at least the style of this design. But the useful thing with the tool is that we can simply copy this image here so i'm simply hitting right click on my computer hitting copy now it is copied i can head back over to our membership with the creative ai prompt tool and i can simply paste in that mock-up image from etsy and it is going to extract the design so we can get a prompt from it so if you're working with pc you will hit Control v to paste in your image if you're working with mac you will hit command v and it'll paste in that image here so i'll simply hit Control v for pc and now you can see we have our image here now this is going to be extremely helpful because normal image to text tools will describe the entire mock-up image with tumblers and a blurry background we want just simply the tool to extract the design from the image and this is exactly what we built this tool to do so when we hit generate here you will notice that in the prompt there will be nothing related to a tumbler there'll be nothing related to a blurry background there's nothing related to the table that is on it's simply extracting the design which is exactly what's going to help us create this design ourselves. so you can see that we have our creative prompt here where it says a realistic illustration features a majestic highland cow with a detailed shaggy fur shaded in black and white for high contrast surrounding a cow are vibrant sunflowers daisies and leaves shades of yellow pink and teal adding a vivid pop against the microchrome animal the composition is bold with splatter of orange and turquoise enhancing the dynamic feel the lighting is soft creating a subtle highlight and shadows the mood is lively artistic resembling a modern pop art or street art style and this is where the power of this tool come in because we just created a creative prompt we can use on our etsy listing now one of the things that we have done as well is to make sure that the prompt is giving a variation of the design so that you can actually create something new but still stay within the bounds of what is obviously working here so once everything is done all you have to do here is simply hit copy and then you'll paste this prompt into whatever design software you're using either be ideogram my designs piddle or canva but now you have this creative prop that we gather literally within seconds we can start using on our design so with that being said we are going to use kittle today for our choice of ai tools so i want to head over to kittle's ai tool here i want to paste in the actual prompt that we copied here into kittle's ai we're going to use Dali 3 and I'm going to head over to the watercolor here and we're going to hit generate. And here is what we gather as a result. And I think that came out extremely well. Again, we can hit generate here and come up with some more results for the image. But again, this saves us so much time when we are trying to find this creative prompt. And we can definitely utilize this on our Etsy listing. Now, let's just say, for instance, if we don't like what we see here with the prompt, we can simply go back into the image area here on prompt AI. 
and we can simply hit generate again and now it's going to give us a brand new prompt still looking at the image we have and we can utilize that prompt for our listing here notice how the entire image description has changed now it's focusing on a vibrant illustration featuring a majestic long hair island cow which is an entirely different prompt than what we had before regenerating the description prompt can help you get a different variation of the design or even a more fine-tuned design as well but again all this is done within seconds here so we'll hit copy over here again we'll go back over into kittle we'll go ahead and erase the prompt that we gathered here and we'll put in that new prompt that we copied over from our tool again we'll keep it on watercolor here and we'll see what we get as a result and here is the result that we have which I think that came out extremely well. Now, of course, our image is going to be based upon the art style that we choose from Kittle and definitely in the overall style that we use. I'll be Dolly 3 or Ideogram or Flux Pro. But I think, again, coming from just this prompt here that we gather and now we can have something to work from. I think this is a very powerful and useful tool we can start using for Etsy business. And the cool thing about this is that this works just not for Tumblr wraps, but it works for T-shirts works for coffee mugs because inside of the AI tool, we have created this from the ground up to remove any physical product and just focus on the design. And this works just not for Etsy, but also for Amazon as well. All right, so say if we have found this cat shirt to do extremely well on Amazon, and we definitely want to create a prompt that's going to create this design for us. Again, the same thing that we've done before in Etsy, we're going to do an Amazon here. We're going to hover over the image, right click, and we're going to hit copy image here. Now the image is copied. I want to head back over to my creative prompt tool. And if I want to add in a new image here, I'll just simply head over to image. I want to X this out. And now I have an open space to paste the image we grabbed over from Amazon here. So I will hit paste. And now we have our image here and notice here as we do get the description it's not going to bring up that it is a dark blue t-shirt it's just going to simply extract the design so we can use this on our product and specifically i want you to see how well this ai tool is going to pick up the text in the design as well so i hit generate and it's scanning the image and notice here that there's nothing in our prompt that says t-shirt which again is huge because most of the image to text softwares will pull up t-shirt, pull up that it's a blue t-shirt in fact. But again, we want to just grab the image and that's why we built this specifically for Etsy sellers who want to have a creative AI design. And so notice here that there's no t-shirt in the prompt at all. And we were able to extract the text from the design where it says the text best cat dad ever and it also picks up the placement of the text where it says arches above and below the central imagery in bold so it picked up the text it picked up the placement of the text and it picked up the style of the text which is exactly what we created this ai tool to do so this saves you a ton of time so with that being said we'll do as we did before we'll go to copy plug this into our design software of choice which is kittle we're going to create this for a t-shirt so we're going to head over to kittle we're going to paste in our prompt that we grabbed over from our creative prompt ai tool and we're going to use ideogram as this is going to be great when we're trying to create a design with text and as you can see that came out extremely well again you can notice here that it brought up the text it brought up that sunset color background and it brought up the cat as well as the fist and we created two different versions of this here but again as you can see that was consistent and it came out great and now all we have to do is just remove the background from this design here because obviously it is black we can go ahead and remove the background here and then we can actually see what this looks like on a mock-up so we'll click on this one here and then we'll make the t-shirt black and as you can see that came out extremely well this was all created with creative prompt ai definitely saved us a lot of time brought in a lot of unique features here and again this shirt came from amazon right the same process applies for t-shirts for tumblers for coffee mugs for pillows 
if you can copy the product mock-up photo it's going to extract the design and give you a creative prompt you can plug into your design software and start selling high quality products at ease so again i'm super excited to see how you're going to use this the possibilities are truly endless when we are creating these type of design and i can't wait to see how you use creative prompt ai to help you start and scale your business and really make it easy for you to find those high quality prompts you can start using on your etsy listing i look forward to seeing your designs and seeing how this helps you grow your etsy shop